Hello and welcome to the Limbury Theatre here at the Royal Opera House. My name is Antonio Papano and uh, we've begun a new initiative, master classes, uh, with the young artists from the Yetta Parker program here at the Royal Opera House. And I'm very, very pleased today to welcome uh, Stephanie Wake Edwards, um, mezzo-soprano, and Susanna Stranders at the piano. And uh, Stephanie is going to sing two less familiar numbers, but uh, wonderful, wonderful pieces of music. The first one from a French opera, The Tales of Hoffman. The character is Niklaus. And yeah, tell us a little bit about the piece. Stephanie. So um, Niklaus is Hoffman's assistant, and Hoffman basically comes across various women on the course to find true love. Um, and at this point in the opera, uh, Hoffman has just met Olympia, who is a robot. And uh, Niklaus basically is telling Hoffman that the musician and the poet is much more akin to love and true love than this robot could ever be. So he's kind of trying to convince Hoffman that she isn't the right person for him. And it's interesting because uh, Niklaus is often... Uh, the singer who plays Niklaus also often plays the muse, and the muse is the uh, symbol of poetry and poetry love and, and, and ev ev everything that's good and theatrical and art, really. So there's the s suggestion that maybe Niklaus himself is in love with Hoffman as well, and this is potentially an aria showing him that Niklaus slash the muse is really his true love. That's okay. my take on it. <laughs> sing, sing. <laughs> Thank you. 
tell us about the violin. You, you're talking, it's called the violin aria, and you're mm -hmm. talking about a violin all the time, about the vibrations of the bow and the string. Mm. How does that play into the story? Well, the, the violin itself? Yes. Well, the violin is the depiction of, of love and the, and, and the clause uses it as like an allegory to depict love and okay, emotion. Okay, that's very, very good. So the, the melody at the beginning, it's quite simple, mm. isn't it? But you're saying, voix sous l'archer frémissant, that the, 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 the trembling of this, this the, the, the bow, vibrer la boîte sonore, the, mm -hmm. the box of this instrument. It's like as if uh, to make him feel his own vibrations. Yeah, you know, yeah. And the vibrations of love. Can you be a little bit more, for lack of a better way of saying it, just a little bit more inspiring that way? Okay. I, I, in other, because you, you said that it's, it's, an, it's an allegory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so make the connection. Make me understand what it is that's magical about the, this violin or the idea of the bow across the string mm -hmm. and the resonance and how he needs mm -hmm. to feel mm -hmm. and, be, and resonate. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just the last couple of bars, Susie. That's already better. Voix is it's commanding him. Look, mm. so be a little bit more positive. Yeah. And the word frémisson, frémis. It's in the e double s's that that word lives, that, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're doing the fr, which is great. Frémis, but the son just drops just okay. a little bit. Keep keep the the electricity of that word heightened. But the beginning was much better. Go, go again. matter the little blip but but the you only have a, a short rest an eighth mm. note rest but it's it's part of the same phrase so in terms of communicating with the audience mm. try to to keep your thought going through that rest that's very very important mm. so that we get a complete idea mm -hmm. this is the if you like the visiting card of the aria mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that first phrase is key yeah. one more time Never be enough essays on Frémy song, right? Not enough, not enough. And you know what? Why? Why I think I I, I think you can um, get more out of this, mm -hmm. and why I keep stopping you <laughs> is I think that you're breathing too early. Okay. You're going. The, she finishes. Blum. And. And you've already br breathed. Da da. There you breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one beat before. Why? Because okay. otherwise your breath gets a little bit stuck. It mm -hmm. it, it 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 becomes stagnant, mm -hmm. if you like, and and it doesn't become energy for you. Mm -hmm. Air is like food, it's w in which the voice is going to nourish itself and yeah. going to carry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry to stop you so many times, but if I were conducting and you'd breathe here. Yes. Lovely. Finished. Yeah. Watch those little descents. Kissing, kissing. I've been saying that a lot today okay. um, about uh, uh, when you have a little descents on uh, da da. Not 
to stay in the same wavelength. Not only uh, that, so you don't drop the pitch, mm. but that you keep the idea going. De -de -de -de. Don't deflate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do that last phrase. De cet âme. Very good. So, that, so you, you created this mystery, listening to the sound, the penetrating sound of the string that is weeping. Yeah, yeah. So it, there you cut, you sort of cut the phrase. It's yeah. a very long phrase. After all these quite short phrases at the beginning, mm. uh, this one has a, a greater breadth. So give me that idea, okay? So do, so do again. Écoute, passé. So the, 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 it, this will console your tears. Now you've gotten three notes. Da, 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 da. You see that little flying, the phrase sort of takes off. But if you go da, 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 too heavy, okay. da, 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 da. use those as your launching pad and the music will just be new, otherwise mm. it just becomes a little stolid there if okay. you're not careful. Same with le mal ses douleurs, this mm. sound that mixes, that mixes with your tears and your pain. Yeah. Okay? okay. Yeah. And it's and then you sing the anthem about okay. love, okay? So we're almost there. Go back um, to uh, this, uh, to the, 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 the string that weeps. To set a cor de plore. To set a cor de plore. To set a cor de plore. Now, I look at all the plores. Very nice. your heart, give uh, your heart to the poetry, to love. Now, it's, it is an anthem, isn't it? Yeah. And it says forte, and yeah. that's what you're doing. But you're going to have a G coming up. Yeah. So I think you have to marshal your forces. You have to be strategic about what forte means, what yeah, singing yeah, yeah. loudly means. You've got to have something left over for the end. Yeah. Because you're going to sing this, this phrase again, and it's going to be crowned with a high A. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be a little bit more strategic. Don't let the voice get in any way get heavy. Yeah. Uh, okay? Mm -hmm. C'est l'amour, c'est l'amour vainqueur. Love is the, is the conqueror, mm. the, the victor. Uh, vainqueur. Don't throw that word away. Sure. I know it goes down into the basement, but yeah. that's the word. Okay. Come on. What 
can help you is that, that dotted rhythm. Dum, ta dee. That will launch you. If you go, say, la, mo, you, 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 you've just gotten a little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to be carrying through this phrase. Yeah. I don't think you want that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's look at that. So you, you said l'amour, l'amour vainqueur. And I said great, and it was great. Now, poet, this is like a variation. Mm. Instead of doing the same thing, he goes. So show us like it's, a, like it's an inspiration. If you're the muse, then you have to inspire, right? Mm -hmm. OK. Now, you're cutting certain notes short. You're going, c'est l'amour. L'amour, c'est l'amour, l'amour. That will help you because otherwise you're doing catch breaths. You're going more, da, da, da. Yeah. just when you, before the G. Now the G is not an A. What I mean by that, and this is very very important uh, thing, is your the the mouth opening yeah, yeah, yeah. shouldn't be like maximum. You know, for a mezzo A is pretty high. Okay, yeah. uh, um, so. Be careful that you're not know, just, ah, you yeah, know, yeah. sort of doing the primal scream, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, keep it in line. Okay. Keep it in focus. Okay, but terrific first phrase. Um, do from Paul, uh, the inspiration, come on. Yeah, I know what it is. You know, a phrase like that's gotta be, gotta blossom out of the note that precedes it. You see how the flower opens. Come on. Yes. That's terrific. And what distinguishes that phrase that goes up to the G mm. on the way down from the phrase that preceded it. This one. Da, da, di, da, di, da, 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 are those accents which are written. Yeah. Okay. You you started to do them a little late on, but okay. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that you see how the G was all in line and it didn't sound like you were uh, yeah, scraping yeah, yeah, the metal, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Now the music changes, really changes again, okay? It consoles your tears. Same words. suffering is enivré, it's mm -hmm. crazy, drunk, uh, uh, so you've, got to let, you've got to almost experience his mm -hmm. turmoil okay. a little bit more. That's what the triplets in the, in the orchestra are kind of doing, okay? okay? Also, um, don't be afraid of those low notes. Um, Et le console, triple, uh, you've okay. got them, so flaunt them. A ta douleur, a ta douleur, enivré, enivré. Okay, when I said the rhythms, a ta douleur, enivré, not enivré, okay. Mm, yeah. Okay, so do the little middle section, Susie. Little trip, yeah. Again, composers will often revert to almost instrumental way of writing for the voice. And if you're, 
like a classic clarinet would play, okay? Very good now. So you, one is in the in the minor. Yeah, yeah, make me understand that. So in other words, you're giving him hope. Yeah. You've got give him inspiration, give him support. That major tells you that. Come on. It's got to be a triplet, so you go a ta douleur, a ta douleur. But very good, the major was clear in your face as actress, wonderfully convincing, terrific. Singing, you're singing as a triplet, it's not a triplet. Ah, ta douleur, ah, ta douleur, enivré. Okay, ah, ta douleur. And use the dotted rhythms, your crazy uh, douleur. Uh, okay, pain and suffering. Ah, ta douleur, ah, ta douleur, ah, ta douleur, enivré. Dotted rhythm again, because you've got triplets all around, and yeah. they can say l'amour, can all mix in. No, make yourself individual. Yeah. Okay, you're a soloist. <laughs> okay, a ta douleur. for that that was really good that no, a voice <laughs> that was but you see because you, you with the G that preceded yeah, yeah. it you were in line and then the a had had all this room to blossom mm -hmm. don't apologize for it but now for that apology you're gonna have to do it again okay. come on <laughs> <laughs> come on um, c'est l'amour it and and trust yourself and then hold it longer yeah. can I make one comment mm -hmm. vocally and I think this is important because the vowels are the key mm -hmm. when you go say l'amour which is great mm -hmm. you go into a no man's land mm -hmm. stay mm -hmm. nice and true to the vowels yeah. don't mm -hmm. go into la, la la land there mm -hmm. okay because you're preparing for the upper register and when you go up to the upper register you must do everything right yeah yeah okay yeah totally. you got it because the g was pretty good mm -hmm. um the, the the g was good and then the a you had the room okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so did you see how you strategically you were giving sound but you were not giving it 
the full whack. Yeah, yeah. So that you had something left. Exactly, yeah. So that there's an ecstatic quality. Mm -hmm. But I think the, the things to remember here are that you are singing this aria to someone. Mm -hmm. You are someone who throughout the piece, throughout the opera, are pushing him forward, mm -hmm. you know, and inspiring him. Mm -hmm. And so every word you say, ev and the way you say, say it, mm -hmm. has to be like gold to his ears, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to him who is full of doubt yeah. mm -hmm. and full of insecurity. He's a tenor. <laughs> 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 okay, terrific, Stephanie. Okay, so we're going to move on to something completely different, mm -hmm. this time from Verdi's Nabucco. And Nabucco was Verdi's uh, third opera, the first, I would say, success that established his reputation as a great opera composer. And there were political circumstances um, in Italy uh, that led the piece to be thought of as a symbol of Italian unity, the suffering of the Hebrews and, uh, and the famous chorus that we all know um, resonated at the time. Now you're <coughs> singing here the role of Fenena. Uh, you are Nabucco, Nabucco's daughter. Nabucco is the Babylonian king who has basically conquered and exiled the Hebrews. Um, but you who are given the job of uh, overseeing the Israelites, first of all, you fell in love with Ismaele, one mm -hmm. of them, and at this point in the opera, very late on, you've converted to Judaism. Imagine, you the daughter of the king of Babylonia. And you are, you think, going to meet your death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a, this is, next piece is a prayer. You're talking about the, the firmament, the skies being open, and, and how your soul, your soul, the desire is to meet the Lord, exactly. basically, yeah? Um, and hundreds and hundreds of joys uh, will be revealed to me, yeah. you say, okay? Or splendor. The splendor of the stars, I don't need you anymore. I've got the light of God. Mm -hmm. It's a be beautiful, beautiful um, text. And, you know, my, my earthbound body will now and my soul will go up yeah. to heaven. Okay. Yeah. 
this um, style of piece, you have the accompaniment. So it belongs still to the bel canto school, yeah. okay? And the melody on top, okay? Now, he's written a lot of dotted rhythms here. Mm -hmm. So in other words, rhythms that would seem slightly jagged. Dum, yeah. da dee, da dee, da dee, dee. Now, the, one of the most important features of, um, of bel canto music and this kind of vocal writing is the line, yeah. the long line. So you have to, yes, honor the rhythms that are written, but you have to create this seamless uh, flow mm -hmm. of, of sound. The Italian language will help you, and I'm going to give you a couple of clues. He says cantabile also, he writes. That means it, it, the music has to sing. Well, obviously, you're a singer, but if he writes it, th that means even more, right? Because there's nothing in the orchestra. The orchestra's going plink, plink, and then blum, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. So let's try. Let's go back to the fundamentals here. Vowel to consonant. Oh, with absolutely no so you're joining everything. You see, I'm singing through the end. Yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> slow motion. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I think that will help you. Because it's a prayer, isn't it? It's a, it, it, you've, you've decided that you're going to leave this, this earth and yeah. you're, going to, you're, going to, you're thinking about paradise, yeah. okay? So it, it needs, it needs a, a, a concentration and only legato singing, that kind of smooth joining of one tone to the other can express mm -hmm. that a prayer. Mm -hmm. It's not ta 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 ti ta ta. It's not that. Or ta ta ti ta ta ta. It's not. There's some of that later. Yeah. But at the beginning here, you want to set the tone, okay, of resignation, of acceptance of yeah. death, okay. Mm -hmm. saying that the heavens are open mm -hmm. and it sounds like uh, you're at a funeral oh, okay. okay and uh, you, it, it's got to sound and what will give you the clue the first word is all oh, it's an exclamation mm -hmm. oh, you see oh you go oh you're, you're, you're in, a, in the wrong place mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay in Italian, when you have uh, when you have the joining, the elision of two small words, try to do it slowly, not a. Otherwise, you get a. Yeah. You get that kind of sound, yeah. which breaks the line. Yeah. Okay. Firma, it was gorgeous. Okay. So just the bar, Susie. Okay. Excuse or ale. Excuse or yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it would sound. It would be like German, where where you where you where you kind of place the vowels. In Italian, it's usually one into another. Okay. Okay. One more time. Too much of the eel. Yeah. Favor the air sound because it's warmer. Okay. In this context. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. 
but you went firmamento, and you made the last note the loudest, when it should be the so really the softest. He even writes a diminuendo, firmamento. Beautiful, no? Mm -hmm. Come on. Be a little bit less, one second, Susie, be a little less active here. Okay. Don't try to do, whereas the other aria is more about this. This is stiller, just drink it in. Mm -hmm. just. Oh, yeah, okay, so now, for, so for, for stillness, you need more support, mm -hmm. okay? Nobody has to see it, nobody has to see you working hard, mm -hmm. but plan for it. But the stillness was so evident, it was so beautiful, mm -hmm. that has serenity, it was gorgeous. One more time. good. The first phrase was absolutely lovely. Now, al signor, di, uh, al signor, look, you need, how do you join that part of the phrase to the next part? Well, with the R, and in this case, you can roll the R, mm -hmm. okay? Lo you need to do that with a certain elegance, you know? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's a little bit ploddy at the moment. Yeah, okay. And Ananela, one L. Yeah. Okay. My, uh, my spirit uh, uh, longs for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Al Señor, Al Señor. You see how, how incredibly important it is the 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 um, the beginnings. If you nail the first phrase in that way, then the rest can be born out of that. But it's the, often the beginnings that, that are elusive at first. But if you work on it, it comes. That was really gorgeous. Come on, Al, al Señor. Al Señor, Espíritu. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Now, lovely shaping. But... Uh, you got, I hear, al Señor, and I don't know what the context is. Señor, that, that feeling that the phrase is, is alive. Okay. Not necessarily moving, but alive. Okay. Come on. Al Señor, Espíritu. Yeah, lo, lo is a semi-quaver. Very good now. I'm not sure of the. Yeah, and a real air sound that's not too. Too wide. Okay, it's too, too wide. Well, yeah, too. Ah. Oh. So, uh, but, but that had real class, that senor. Okay. You don't have to, to do rhythms, you don't have to get jumpy with your body. Mm. It's inside that you feel those things. That's the great lesson about an aria like this, is feel these things inside. So when you deliver the aria, you're completely still. You don't have to do all the opera stuff. Mm -hmm. You're still and you're doing everything. Come on, al Señor. Al Señor, los Okay, now let's go back to the, what I said about the funeral. Okay. The Lord my, I, to my, the Lord I'm desiring the, the, the spirit, my spirit is desiring the Lord. Yeah. And, it's, and it looks like you want to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling happy inside. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show it in your <laughs> eyes. Come on. That's terrific. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Now you've done this little doodle-y thing. Mm -hmm. you, you, um, 
Now, you know what I've talked about, the instrumental? That's what you need there. Mm -hmm. A little clarinet. Okay. Smiles upon a mummy, yeah. and you to get that, rrr, you need the R's, mm -hmm. especially it's in the low register. <coughs> hey, Marie. Not enough. Not enough R's. Okay. No, not even close. Okay. Hey, Marie. Not even close. Really? Okay. Listen, if you treat the the, the, the rolled R's like vowels. Yeah. Hey, Marie. Okay. Marie. Hey, Marie. No, semi quaver. Semi quaver. Because it has to be different from the quavers that come afterwards. Yeah. That's the point. He mixes it up and creates incredible variety, yeah. even in something so simple. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Marie. Hey, Marie. Okay. Otherwise, you leave a hole. Do, do. You see how the phrase continues. Okay. Deliastri. Okay. Very nice sound on disvela. Now that was a how you you all these joys you make me discover. Okay. Now, o splendor. Now talk to the stars. And tell them that you don't need them anymore. You've got, you have God. Okay. okay, very nice. So now we've got the communication. Do you, after you've just done this vela. Oh, we're just really in? Okay. Why don't you start quieter? Okay. Go this way. Come on. <laughs> Lovely portamento. Fabulous. My light. So this is the most difficult phrase because the orchestra stops and you've got to your breath has to carry you through to these other notes. Yeah. So luce. If you want to sneak a little breath there yeah. it would help. D with a double D. It yeah. he irradiates for me, okay? Yeah. So that has to be luminous that phrase. Yeah. Okay? Come on. Or splendor, that was magnificent, okay? <clears throat> now, yeah, so, Steph, breathe in the tempo you're going to sing in. You, okay. You're taking a breath. It could be any tempo. Okay. Breathe in the tempo you're going to sing. Oh, splendor. Otherwise, you take in too much air and you're yeah. f you don't use, don't need all that air, yeah. okay? Here we go. Oh, splendor. Shh, you did the color was better before. Color was better okay. before. Oh, splendor, the astri, addio, e di luce, e radia e di. Good, we're going to do this.
this a couple of times, this phrase. Because yeah. uh, you need to make sure that the C is high enough. Dio, not too closed. Dio, so that then you can shut down. Yeah. If you go, Dio, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do this a couple of times. Oh, splendor. Oh, splendor. Make it up on the spot. Oh, splendor. Fabulous. The astri addio. With emphasis. I'm going to make you do it one last time because I know that you can hold that C a little bit longer before you move down. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's just will. You have to have the will to do it. Yeah. Okay? Go from me di luce. Luce, light. Me luce. But then you didn't start singing. Oh, did I not? No, you, you <laughs> took this enormous breath. You went, um, duh, and you hesitated. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. you, you breathe, sing. Yeah, yeah. Never, ever stop the breath. Mm -hmm. Okay, but terrific. I'm not going to make you do that phrase again because it was really good. Da, da, da. My soul escapes. Sure whether to crescendo or to diminuendo or to do both or assume yeah you kind of <laughs> but the important thing is that when you build the phrase di da 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 just play f major bam that's what we expect what we get is da 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 that's da and it changes that's why you have to open that okay yeah, yeah, yeah. to the chord change okay so, fugge l'alma, your soul flies to heaven. Come on. Fugge l'alma, interrupts but yeah, so yeah. now I want you to do that F one more time there's a diminuendo there so yeah, that yeah. the end of that phrase you can caress okay okay <laughs> Cutting it short. No, the other one. Okay, if, you, yeah. if you go da da da, it, it, fall, it, it falls. Okay, one more time. Come on. The F's great. Like breathe off the okay. Probably. Okay. <laughs> Now 
take your time, wait. This is now you, it's you, you in the audience. The soul flies to heaven. Terrific, terrific. That moment before mm. the, the final chord of any aria mm. is, the, is the absolutely up close and personal with the audience. Mm. That's what really, I hate to say it in such banal terms, but that's what gets the applause. Mm -hmm. It's the way you do that. Yeah. The self-control, the timing, okay? Uh, one, and the terrific A, by the way, that was already much, much better. I find that A much easier than the one in Niklaus. Yeah, well, because Niklaus, you're, you know, you've yeah, got the yeah. anthem. You're, you're, you're singing sort of almost full throttle. That's why I use the word with you, strategic. Yeah. But do you notice how much more in detail we're working on this aria? Mm -hmm. This bel canto, when you string it all together, mm. then it seems like the most natural thing in the world. But you have certain elements have to be in place. Your rhythm has to be in place. Your sense of line has to be in place. What is ornamental? Mm. What is instrumental, therefore, and how you therefore sing it? Yeah. Okay? And um, we haven't talked a lot about mouth openings here. In fact, I said to open a little bit more so that you can then shut down instead of saying, you know, yeah, yeah. okay? Emphasis of consonants or joining consonants to vowels or consonants to consonants. Yeah. But then what has the overriding thing has to be, that's all technical stuff, which mm. I just listed. It's, it's, a, it's a prayer of, you know, and, and, it, and, and when you've done all that little homework, which is not much actually, you, you're doing it right now on the spot, you know, with a camera looking at you, mm -hmm. you know, with pressure, but you can do it, you mm -hmm. see, so it, it, it can go relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's a really terrific job. And Susie, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Susie. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.